Welcome everyone to a much more organized Brickitech studio. There's nothing that motivates you to clean more than knowing your family's coming over for Easter. And if they come down those stairs, they're going to see what a disaster zone this is and judge you negatively. So the night before they came over, just like I did the last time they came over, which was last summer, I spent my entire evening down here scrambling to clean and making this look good, which I think I was successful at. You can actually see a floor with the godlike carpeting, which is a huge advance. The desk looks good. Everything is like in place. It looks like we're we're actually organized, which you're going to find out here in a minute that that's just an illusion. But we've got some sets back here still sitting out that need reviewed one of these days. And we've got some stuff back there on the desk there that this is like Clark's mocks and things that I'm kind of working on. But overall, it looks pretty good out here. I did tell you this is an illusion and you're going to find that out because I'm about to take you in to the storage room, which is behind that door right there because I am trying to find a Lego set that I bought three years ago and never opened, never even took it out of its packaging at all because tomorrow, Craggle has invited me and has scheduled a live stream of us building this set. And I thought, you know what? It might be good if I actually find that set that we're building. So I'm gonna go in there, we're gonna do some hunting for this thing that I bought in 2018, right before Philly Brickfest. And then we went to Philly and we came back and like life just moved on and this thing kind of got lost in the mix. It moved with us a year ago and it's behind that door. So join me as we explore the secrets of the Brickitech studio. <laughs> this is where I need some creepy music to play so you guys get really scared, but it's gonna happen itself here because as we come in here, you guys can see this place is a bit of a disaster. Starting over here, we'll give you a bit of a tour. This is kind of like my RC workshop, video game stuff, just overall catch all and it's a disaster. Here is all the stuff that used to be in the studio that I had on display when these shelves were in there, but then you guys know I kind of substituted that for a movie theater. And I, I don't regret that decision, but this stuff's kind of just in here like this. And uh, it doesn't look great, but for now it's all right. As long as nothing falls off and breaks, especially things like this. It's a little scary. Some of this stuff could probably be torn apart. Some of these things I don't think I'll ever tear apart. We just need to find a proper way to display them. And wherever that happens at, it's gonna be assisted by this new thing that I've done in here, which is all of these Sterilite containers. I bought 72 individual drawers of these. And what I'm doing is putting all of my sets in here, as you can see, like here's, maybe you can see it, Marvel Superheroes. And if you open this up, all the sets are inside here with the set number with the name of it. And I'll probably put years on there, but for now that's kind of working. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these. These are the moving boxes that we moved in here a year ago with. There's 15 of these. And inside here are all the sets that we've built in our videos over like from 20, well, basically 2015 all the way to 2020. And what I need to do, maybe 2019, I guess. What I'm gonna do is take them out of the boxes, which take up a lot of space and do this with these and then throw away the boxes and throw away these boxes and clear out all the space. These were back here, but I like this way better. I think this is gonna be really nice. But once my collection hits all these drawers and these are all full, I'm not expanding beyond this. At least I say that to myself right now. I'm gonna to have to start selling something or getting rid of something, but I've got a lot of space as you can see. So I think it's gonna work out. One thing I just mentioned was about throwing away boxes. And I wanna show you something back here in this narrow, alleyway that I created that uh, it's going to show you that I haven't actually been throwing away my boxes. I've just kind of been uh, relocating them. And as you can see, this is, this kind of just goes back pretty far. We've got this little path, but here's where all of my, oh, sorry, sir. I stepped on your foot. I apologize. Here's where all of my boxes have ended up. I flattened everything down. I put them in a big box like this and everything's in here. And someday when I'm not such a, I don't think I can say that word on a family channel. So I'll just say someday when I'm feeling strong enough internally, I'm going to take this in the whole entire box to the recycling place and just be gone with it. But until then I see all this Lego cardboard and I'm like, I can't, I can't part with it, but we're making a little bit of progress. It's flattened at least that was a, you know, I wouldn't even do that before, but it's uh, it's all here and it's taking up space, which I don't have. All of these boxes, these are eventually gonna go in there. They're all gonna be organized. So like, this is gonna be gone. But as you can see, like this is at max capacity under here. I even have more boxes under here. And as I kind of give you a tour, if you're interested in such things, like all of this is like my Lego stuff, as you know, but all of this is like my childhood stuff. These are all of my old toys. Like this is PS2, PS3, VHS, VHS tapes. We've got sports cards. We've got 360, Wii U, DS, Switch. 
We've got Nintendo, old school Nintendo in there. We've got childhood Lego. You guys would love to see what's in there. We've got 12 inch GI Joes. Excuse me there, sir. We've got Hot Wheels. We've got action figures. We've got Xbox and PS4 and we've got Sega. So this is what my childhood looks like. This is what my adulthood looks like. And as you can see, it's not much different. My mother-in-law made a comment today. She's like, no offense, but you're like one of the kids. And I didn't take offense to that at all. I like to be a kid at heart. I like to still be able to enjoy myself. I like to be able to relate not only to adults, but to kids and, you know, have that spirit that kids have that as an adult, you eventually lose because the world starts crushing your soul. I like to retain that as much as I can. So if I, you say I'm a kid at heart, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. This guy was a kid once. He spent too much time back here. This is what this place will do to you. I might actually end up with the same fate as this guy though, because as Clark Mann goes to school, this place becomes my full-time job. I'm back here. Gonna be cleaning, organizing, trying to get this place really presentable and looking good. And uh, you know, I guess we'll just do this together and we'll do it with you guys too. I'll bring you along with me. We'll do some live streams if the internet can, uh, can make its way back here. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna be a lot of the time in the dungeon for the best, I think. But actually I'm gonna move this guy out of the way because I think I just spotted the thing that I'm looking for, the set that moved with us. I guess maybe I knew that, stay. I knew someday that I'd be coming for it and it's, it's this right here that I'm gonna try to uh, take out without showing you my address because I'm pretty sure that it's plastered on the front of this. I guess this epic hunt really wasn't uh, all it was cracked up to be, but I do want to show you something else down here. I have some flea market hauls that I've never showed you or even gone through that my father-in-law found me. There's a little sneak peek. That's all full of Lego, as is this one as well. I need to do videos on these. I just, just like this thing, I just move on and I have so much going on that stuff just gets forgotten and this would be awesome to go through. That's completely full. That's completely full. There's a lot, dude. So... Stay tuned for that. That's going to come after we get organized, but I'm going to take this out and uh, I'll show you what the set is and what we're going to be getting into here tomorrow in a stream. Let's get out of the dungeon, back out into the illusion. Sometimes showing stuff like what you see in there is a little embarrassing, but I like to show the reality of things. Not everything is what it seems. Like you look in here, it's like, wow, Greg, super organized, looking good, man. But the truth, the truth lies back there. That's what things are really like. And not many people will show you the truth. And I think it's I think it's important to be authentic because we can go through this journey together. Maybe seeing my hoard and my mess and me cleaning it up will inspire you to do the same. And I think that's pretty cool. But nonetheless, let's uh we'll we'll stick to the topic here if there is one, and we'll open this up and I'll show you what I got. We'll put you guys on the couch here. Okay. Worst shot ever. <laughs> um uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Let's crack into this thing. After three years. Oh, actually, let me show you this. I gotta be a little careful because I don't want to show you my address, but look at this. Expected delivery date, 4-14-2018. So almost three years to the day, finally opening up. That's ridiculous. What's more embarrassing than your hoard? Having a Lego set that I bought three years ago and never even took out of the box. Like this could literally not even be the thing that I ordered. <laughs> What's the window on eBay that I can go back on a seller? It's so bad. Anyways, we're in slightly. We're getting in there. Might need scissor attack to help me with this one. Or we'll just beast through it. Holy wrap. This guy needs some positive feedback. getting there. I think you can start to see it. It's like Christmas. There it is, guys. This is Lego DC Superhero Set 76087. This is the Flying Fox Batmobile Airlift Attack. 955 pieces. I bought this three years ago for $75, including shipping, which is remarkable because right now I could sell this. I think Craggle, I forget what he said he paid for his, but it's a good bit more than that. And I'd probably be better off just reselling this right now, but I wanna enjoy the build and we're gonna stream it together and it's gonna be fun. It's got some great minifigs. You got Steppenwolf, he's a little bit of a big fig. You've got a Parademon, Parademon, Batman, Superman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman. It's a sweet set. I like it, I especially like the Batmobile. I think it's just gonna be fun. It's kind of like the Rexelsior a little bit. I suppose if you want to compare it to something that 
I don't think many people really enjoyed or liked. Like the original Justice League. Haven't watched the entire new one yet. We're like one chapter in, but I think it's gonna be a fun set to build. And that's what inspired him to buy this apparently. So I said, hey, if you're doing a stream, I've got it too. And he invited me to build. And I'm happy that he did because it's now out of the packaging and one step closer to actually getting built. I think the moral of today's story is that sometimes when you get set back or when you don't accomplish things, it's nice to have people hold you accountable and to motivate you and inspire you to get the things done that you should have done a long time ago, like clean your studio or build this set that you bought three years ago. Doing it yourself is hard. When you have somebody that's like, hey, let's do this thing, just like us in cleaning possibly, it's so much easier. It's nice to be held accountable and be like, you either get this thing done or you don't. And I choose do over don't, especially when I'm forced into it, which is uh, you know where we're at here. But here's the manual, all flat. We've got a little bit of stickeration happening there. Lots of bags. One through seven on here. So this will keep us busy. I don't know if we're doing this all in one day or if we're gonna build a little part of it. I'm notoriously slow at building, so it's unlikely, but we'll at least get this bad boy started. Let me see what the first part of the build is. You think it's the Batmobile or you think it's the Flying Fox? Let's see. Tring. Lovely. It is, oh, it's Steppenwolf and the Batmobile will get built first. So we'll at the very least get that done, I would imagine. And then the, the rest of the bags, as you can see here, they take you through, that's only bag four. The rest of the bags all the way through seven take you through the Flying Fox. That's gonna take some time. So we'll have to see how things go. But I've got some time tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of spring break. And uh, the day before Clark Mann officially becomes a kindergartner and the day before I officially become a full-time Lego organizer and cleaner. And I'm excited about all these things, not only for Clark Man, but for myself, and to get this, this place the way that I really want it. I basically have two months of whatever I need to do to make it happen, and that's what I'm gonna do. So join me, if you will, for, for a new chapter. There's gonna be live streams, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll probably still be building stuff. I got sets to review, I've got stuff to go through. Yard sale season's coming. It's gonna be an amazing time here on Brickitect as the sunlight comes back in. And it's like the clouds are opening up and telling us this is the way. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope maybe a little bit of inspiration, maybe a lesson, maybe a life story, maybe just uh, the truth about Greg being the most uh, procrastinating, disorganized hoarder in the entire planet. That's probably what you got. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next video.